Well, it's the holiday season, and that means fruitcakes and Christmas cookies, Hanukkah latkes, and, I don't know, Kwanzaa logs or something. As everyone knows, people get very lonely around the holidays. Therefore, I will be cooking no food having to do with holidays today. Some chicken roulades wrapped in bacon. Oh my god, they're so good. Actually, today might be a double feature. I've been making pickles lately. They're freaking awesome. So, welcome to the not really very holiday holiday episode of Cooking Under the Influence. Brings on a rapid and very painless death. Remember that. Or you could just chop their head off. I've done that before. You know, whatever. Hello and welcome once again to Cooking Under the Influence with me, your host and chef du jour. I'm Sean. It has been way, way too long since I've done a CUI episode. So therefore, I'm going to make this one a double episode. I'm going to be cooking two different things and I might have to split it up into two parts. As every good chef knows, before we start cooking, we need a drink. My good old standby vodka and soda. Woo! Get your lemon that you grew on your lemon tree outside. Have the lemon juice squirt in your eye. Oh my god. Speaking of lemons, there I was sitting out in my backyard, minding my own business, watching stupid YouTube videos. When all of a sudden I hear behind me, Somebody shouting, get down on the ground! And then I hear, tick, 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 and I realize, holy crap, there's somebody in my yard right behind me getting tased by the cops. That's why the lemons are off the tree. Because they had climbed over my fence, gotten tased as they're climbing over the fence and fall onto my lemon tree. Don't tase me, bro! True fucking story. Where were we? We're cooking. All right, we've got our chicken thighs and bacon. The nice thing about chicken thighs is they kind of roll up, you can unroll them, and then roll them back, and that's what we're going to do. Chicken roulades. But we're not just going to roll bacon around chicken. Anybody can do that. This is boring. Not about to do that since I'm already doing two things. So I got some pre-made tikka masala sauce. A few episodes ago, I made chicken tikka masala from scratch. My kitchen smells like third world. Which, if you're cooking, is a great thing. If you're not cooking, it kind of sucks. Let's take about half of the tikka masala. Just pour that over the chicken. Of course, the longer it takes to cook, the longer you can drink. A little bit of kosher salt. Sambal alak. It's kind of a cousin to rooster sauce, sriracha sauce. See the rooster? Not much, because that shit... This shit goes a long way. And I think given the flavors, I think some sage would be nice in there. Once that's nicely coated on all the chicken bits and parts, what's this stuff? Bacon. Let's wrestle with the bacon. Which doesn't want to cooperate. Fuck. Damn it. Chicken thigh, nicely coated and stuff. Remember I said they roll up nicely? Let's do that. Roll it up into a little... Roulade, as they say in France. Oh, 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 et roulade. Mais oui, oh, oh, oh. Roll it up nice and tight like sushi. Roll up the roulade, which is not holding together at all. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. Take your toothpick. All the way through. Hold it together. Fabulous. The hard part is picking up the toothpick when your hands are full of goo. Twitter. Another nice thing, everybody loves food with toothpicks in it. Oh, let's preheat our oven. Don't forget to do that. 390. The loneliest button on your microwave is the 9 button. It's very sad. Ooh, this worked out perfectly. I had just enough bacon for just enough chicken. It's the little victories in life that you have to celebrate. Okay, it's not really any extra sauce, but if you want to just drizzle it. Because drizzling is best done with the hands. 
Use a cutting board because then, oh look, no more mess. It's gone. All right. When am I oven gonna beat this preheated? Fucking never. Let's just have a drink while we wait for it to bake, and then we can finish it in a little while. I don't care if it's not freaking preheated or whatever. Nobody ever dies from that. 35, 40 minutes? I don't know. It's time for a refill. Oh my god, I'm just about out of vodka. Fortunately, I've prepared. It's almost time to turn these things. Don't they look nice up in there, up in the oven cooking? Okay, if you're watching the chicken roulade bacon video right now, I can't keep track of what's going on right now. If you're watching that video right now, and you're wondering why I have these jars of cucumbers sitting here, you have to watch the next video, which is the pickle video. Because I'm making two. It's a double feature. And once you figure it out, tell me, because I'm not really sure. I took a little camera break, and when I came back, I found that my glue trap had caught a mouse. So, this is what you do when you catch a mouse with a glue trap. You put them in a little plastic bag. Don't bite me, you little fucker. Now, how do you humanely dispose of mice? Put them in the freezer. Your body temperature lowers, you enter a state of euphoria and delirium, and eventually you just stop breathing. It's awesome. Hypothermia is one of the most merciful ways to go. Ow! Burn myself. This looks delicious. Let's get a pot and fill it with water and boil the water. If you need how to instructions on boiling water, this show is not for you. You need to just go to freaking Taco Bell or something. Well, here's some boiling water now. Let's put some olive oil in there. Let's put some pasta in there. Well, trying to put the damn pasta in there. This is what we're going to serve with the oh, 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 things. That's what we're going to call this dish. We're just going to call it oh, oh, oh. oh my god. If you ever need a healthy alternative to what you've been eating, soak your shit in bacon fat. Because that's completely natural. We've cooked stuff. Do you really want to wear a bow tie made of pasta? I don't. Bow tie pasta. Once you drain your pasta, once the water's all gone and shit. Olive oil needs pasta. No, no. Pasta needs olive oil. That's the thing. Remember we only use half a jar to marinate the chicken. Let's take the rest of our chicken masala. Whoop. Splot it in there. Fish salt, ooh, wow, that's a lot. Italian seasoning, sure, why not? Some garlic. Now it's gonna be good. Come on now. Let's put some sour cream. If it comes out great, throw it away. I mean, pasta is what, like 99 cents a bag? Damn, that's a big old hunk of Romano. Use Parmesan, Asiago, Romano. Combination of all three, you don't have to grate it. I don't care. I'm not eating at your house. All right, so let's eat some shit. Got a toothpick, a couple toothpicks in there. Pull that shit out. Kick ass. Got your chicken roulades wrapped in bacon, marinated in tikka masala. Oh my god. That's so freaking good. Every time I think I'm making some like, oh, this is gonna be crap, it turns out freaking awesome. And coming up, don't miss the rest of the pickle episode. Enjoy, and bon appetit. I did the pickle episode halfway through doing this, so it's going to be all confusing. To the late night, double feature, picture show, in the back row. Ah.